Hi, today we're talking about a dancing intraocular lens. An 81-year-old male patient that was operated and eventfully 20 years ago from cataract. Last year he had mild intermittent blurry vision and more recently he had decreased uh, visual acuity with a vision of four tens and oscillopsia in certain positions of the eyes. And we can see that this IOL is just dancing. Uh, the UVM shows that the aptics are rubbing against the iris and this might explain his uh, recurring um, UV iris and blurry vision episodes. We discussed the pros and cons of surgery and different options, either IOL repositioning into bag or uh, an IOL exchange according to what we might find in the OR. Here I'm trying to inject viscoelastic viscoat first because it is dispersive and it will e more easily uh, diffuse and separate the capsule uh, anterior from posterior capsule. Then I'll try to use my Simsky hook to separate the leaflets that are uh, not that fused. Fortunately, it is fairly easy to separate them. Then I will inject Provisc to occupy space. Then with the Kuglin hook, I'm gently uh, putting the aptic in the bag. Now I'm checking the other aptics and unfortunately they are also in the sulcus. Um, I'll explore uh, all three rings of aptics. They're all in the sulcus. This intraocular lens was not injected in the bag. We can also see the summering ring that is associated with a mild um, fragility zone that I'm trying to avoid touching. If we touch the summering ring, this may result in lots of debris that will be difficult to clean. By injecting abundant viscoelastic, I'm able to easily um, insert the second ring of aptics in the bag. And I'm just using uh, this iris hook to help my view. I'll later re inject some uh, uh, OVD uh, viscoat first, then using the Sinsky hook to separate the, this fusioned anterior with posterior capsule, and then provisc, and then finally. Uh, I will be able to insert the whole intraocular lens in the bag. So in this case the surgery was much easier and much smoother than expected. These kinds of surgeries we need to be prepared to do an IOL exchange for example if needed. Um, but here everything just went great. Later on as you can see I'm just removing the OVD manually, uh, leaving some in the eye if needed. This is the post-op day one with 9 tenths of vision and patient uh, so far very happy and without a dancing IOL. Thank you.